If you're watching this, then you probably already know who Cal Newport is, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this video. In case you don't, then let me explain Cal in 10 seconds. He's a computer science professor at Georgetown University, New York Times bestseller for seven books, and one of them being Deep Work. He also regularly writes for The New Yorker, New York Times, and Wired, and his Deep Work methodology has really taken off in the past few years. He also has a really good podcast, which I recommend to all productivity nerds out there. So let's zoom through his ideas because you probably already know them if you're watching this. Cal likes the time block, which is basically dividing up your time to do certain tasks and doing only that task and then a lot of time. In this half hour, I'm going to work on this. For this 90 minute block, I'm going to work on that. And during this hour, I'm going to try to fit this in. So what is deep work? Long story short, it's the idea that you need to spend time doing focused, undistracted work where you're in the flow state. This is done during deep work sessions. And then there's also shallow work which is the easier stuff that doesn't really involve that much energy to do, the less cognitively demanding stuff, as some would say. One category of shallow work is emails. Cal and other productivity experts recommend going through your email only like twice a day. I think Rich Webster, another productivity expert, says that he only checks emails twice a day as well. So we have three categories. Wait, there's also personal stuff in your life as well, I hope, which we'll just label as personal. Let's dive into this and make the Cal Newport inspired deep work calendar notion setup. Click subscribe if you have a big crush on Cal Newport as well. So here we have the deep work calendar, Cal's calendar. So as you can see, there's nothing in it right now. It's uh, my one actually has stuff in it, but this is just a template. So I'll just show you how it works. Again, it's free in the description below. You can have it for free, it's yours. Uh, however, I'm just going to take you through how it all works just to give you an understanding. So basically the idea is a lot of people do their calendar and their to-do list as separate things. However, I really think that your day is your to-do list. So they should be in the same place. You shouldn't have to check two separate things and then think, oh, where can I balance my to-do list and where can I? how can I balance my calendar? And it's kind of a, a juggling act to merge them together. They're the same thing and you should be able to see everything in the one go. I should know what I'm doing next Wednesday at 1 p.m. And I should know what I have to do on Saturday. So I'll show you how this setup works. All I have to do is go over here and click on the workday button. I click that and it automatically creates my workday. And as you can see here, my email even has a pre-made to-do list set up instantly. So all I now do is take these, drag them Thursday, and now I have my workday completely set up here. So it's very easy for me to do. I'll just delete that, do it again. Click on Workday, automatically does that. Here we've got my email. Drag and drop it, let's say Friday. Let's just go through the days to quickly get an understanding. This is my Workday. You might want a different one and I'll show you how to do it. It's super simple. So we have on Friday or for every day really, 9 a.m check emails. As we talked about in the beginning, you check emails twice a day. So that's at nine and at four. At 10 a.m., do a deep work task. At 1 p.m., do another deep work task. And then at three, do a shallow task. As Cal and many other productivity experts talk about, it's very difficult to do, you know, more than four or five hours of deep work a day. So I've tried to structure it in a, um, a realistic way where it's not 10 hours of deep work tasks, because that's just uh, pretty unrealistic, especially if you want to do this on a day by day. So Cal often talks about with email, once you read your email, you don't want to keep it in your email. You want to bring it into another place. And that other place would be Notion. So what we do is once an email comes through in the morning, we'll open up email and we'll simply reply to Sam, send Jerry a photo of a dog, so forth. You write them through tick them off. Once you've completed your emails, this icon here will change just to a tick. That way we can quickly see here, emails, check, we've done that. My calendar is actually filled out, it's not empty. So we'll just generate some more ones. So we'll take that and we'll just drop it in on the Tuesday. So the example here is we'll say, okay, on Monday, you know what, I can't actually do any of these things because I actually have a meeting at let's say uh, 9 a.m. Yes, I can do that. 10 a.m. I can do deep work task, but then at 1 p.m. I actually have a meeting. So we'll just write 
meeting with Jerry. I like to do a blue icon, blue circle meaning it is fixed in place. And then tags here I can select, is it deep, shallow, email, personal? With Jerry, it's gonna be some deep work because whew, he's annoying, so we're going deep. That uh, It's a two hour meeting and we have to talk about a lot of stuff. We right. attempted to have the meeting, but it was aborted. We and we failed. Let's have that meeting. Let's have we, that meeting. We're having that meeting right now. Notion can do a lot of things. However, just because it can do a lot doesn't mean that you should overcomplicate it. You really wanna keep it simple to to make it stress-free and to make it super easy to understand what your entire week looks like. Say if I don't finish this task today, that one o'clock one, this 10 o'clock one, took actually all the way until three o'clock till I did my shower task. I didn't have time to do this. I simply just drag and drop that to the next day. I know, you know what, I'll fit it in then. It makes it a lot easier for me if I can just play with it like that. Cal often talks about how you wanna plan your day and, and time block it. However, you still have to be free and, you know, uh, available to actually change things if they need to be changed. However, your day should have a plan. So if I don't have time for this, I can simply drag it to another day. And when I can see my entire month's view of what my to-do list looks like, it's very easy for me to not get overwhelmed because I know exactly what I have to do. So if I say, oh, can I do it tomorrow? I don't know if I can do it tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. I do know if I can do it tomorrow. I can simply see, do I have anything planned for this day? If it's completely filled up, I know, you know what? I actually don't have time to do this task on the next day or the next day, but maybe I can do it next Friday. So I'll have to drag it there. So one issue that I see a lot is a lot of to-do lists that I see on Notion is kind of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So typically the lists kind of look like this and you'll have Monday and then, you know, you write your thing. You're like, cool, Jerry. And then, yes, you can drag it to that day and stuff like that. But if you just have a to-do list, it's a lot more confusing. You have to assess each task. Here I know whether the task is a deep task or a deep work session involved, or if it's just a shallow task. I don't get that kind of understanding of the task from each of these. Plus typically the other Notion templates that I see online that are like to-do lists or calendars and stuff only have the five days. I don't know about you, but often I wanna know what I'm doing next week and can I fit it in next week? And when you're working with a lot of other people and, and you kind of have to know when you can do stuff this week, but also next week and the week after and so forth. Maybe every single Friday looks the same to you. You go to the uh, a boxing class and then you, you know, have a meeting every Friday morning with your boss and so, so on and so forth. So what we can do is we could create that in here. So I'll just delete this. I don't know why. Okay, so let's just do an example for Friday. So we'll press on Friday and then we'll say, at four o'clock, you do your uh, week wrap up, where basically you just finish off your emails, so on and so forth. This is pretty shallow, doesn't take too much energy and thinking involved. At three o'clock every Friday, that's when you have a meeting with boss. So you have your meeting boss. Click that here, that's a blue, that's fixed. You do that every single Friday at three. You can't move that, that's a deep, you have to talk to your boss. The idea here is, again, you're selecting either deep, shallow, email, or personal. Make it super easy for yourself. This one's an email session. So this is, let's say this is what your average Friday looks like. You're doing your emails, you're doing your task, you're doing your, this is what every Friday looks like. What we're going to do is we're going to create a button. So you literally just have to press that and then drag it. Saves you so much time. So all you have to do is slash type button, template button arrives in here. We're gonna call this Fridays. And then these guys, you're literally just gonna drag and drop them into this template spot here. Delete that, hit close. So now you hit play, or you hit plus, sorry. That's gonna do its thing. Open up the emails. If you want, you can even have um, specific templates in these templates. So say every, I'll just drag and drop these quickly. So you can see that, drag and drop it into the Friday. Cool, now you have your Friday there. However, let's say, let's edit this. So you just go over here and press this configure template. Every Friday, you and your boss talk about the same stuff. You say, how was your week this week? Bosses, new ideas, main takeaways. Now, 
what we'll do is we'll go to the calendar. We hit new. Drag and drop this. Okay, it's on a Thursday now. Drag and drop this. Then on the boss meeting, you automatically have these come up. So now you know in your meeting, you can open this up. It's the same thing every single week. You talk about how was your week? What's your boss's new ideas? What's the main takeaways? And you can start taking your notes in here. It's an easy way to collect all of that information in this one place. You could build this out into a stronger database. However, we kind of want to keep this simple. If the boss has any main takeaways that you want to then transfer that data into a specific place, then you would do that after the meeting. However, when your boss is talking and saying, hey, I want to do this, 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 it's going to be difficult to then open up all your different Notion places where you are collecting your tasks and your projects and so forth. So first you can just take some, you know, dot points down here, blah, 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 blah. Then all you would do is after the meeting, spend some time putting them in the places that you want to store them in your Notion. So this is how my deep work calendar works. It involves time blocking. You can easily tick tasks off. It's a simple system. Blue means it's a fixed meeting. It has to be at that time. Red means you haven't done it. Green tick means you've, you've completed the task. Super easy to see. Yes, done the emails. I hope this was useful. If you like this template, again, it's free in the description. It's yours. You don't have to pay for it. It's free. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think this is useful? This is how I do it. And I find it super useful to set up my day like this. All I have to do is drag and drop it into specific days. So if someone says, hey, are you available on Wednesday? I can say, yes, I am. What time for, okay, um, meeting, whatever. So that's gonna be a shallow meeting. They only want 15 minutes. That's not a problem. Meeting with John, sorry, Jerry. Now you know, okay, cool. I have this fixed time. It's literally like a normal calendar. However, you're combining your calendar and your to-do list and time blocking all in the same space. Instead of doing time blocking in uh on your piece of paper and then your to-do list in one notion tab and then your calendar on google it's all in the one place makes it super easy and once this starts filling up you can see your entire month which is so useful it might seem stressful to know where your entire month looks like but i can tell you it's actually one of the most uh like freeing things knowing what your entire month will look like you won't be as overwhelmed thinking will i ever get this task done will i ever be able to achieve this you know when you have time for it and you know if someone says, hey, can you work on this project? It's quite easy to see. You know what? I actually don't have time for it. I'm working on all these different tasks and projects and my entire two weeks are filled up. It's not a random guess on do I have time to complete these tasks. It all fits into the one space. So again, drop your comments below. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Are you going to use it? And again, it's free. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.